Hi everyone, welcome back to the BarcodeArena.com YouTube channel. The video today is connecting Windows Compact Embedded 7.0, also known as Windows CE7, to Wi-Fi um, out of the box. So when you first receive the mobile device, obviously it'll be factory default. And I'm going to walk you through how to optimally connect it to your network. So let's get started. First things first. Click your Fusion icon down here. Fusion is the name of the wireless firmware driver for Wi-Fi management. So when you click this icon, it'll pop up your list of menu options with which to manage the device's Wi-Fi. And first thing to do is click Enable Radio to turn on the Wi-Fi radio. Once it's on, we'll have you just change one option setting here right out of the gate to make things easier. When you click options, it'll pop up this window. Drop it down and select regulatory. Uncheck 802.11d, which most networks will not allow that piece of firmware to connect to your network when it's on. So turn it off. Um, click OK once you've saved it. Exit out and now click your wireless fusion manager again and Find your wireless local area networks. That'll pull up all the Wi-Fi networks in range. And when you find your network, tap it once and then tap it a second time and hold the stylus over it to right click it, so to speak, and click create profile. Now we're in the setup wizard. Um, step one and nine, you can just leave this the way it is. It's just the network name, how it's broadcasted in your building. Click Next, obviously leave that the way it is. Step three, this is really important. Just check with your network guru or administrator how your password protected Wi-Fi is secured. Um, usually it's a WPA2 personal or even a WPA2 slash WPA mixed mode, in which case you can just leave it here. Authentication type is none. And you can leave this default and click Next. Also check with your network administrator how the security mode is encrypted. It's either going to be AES if you're doing a default mixed mode out of the box or TKIP. Normally it's AES because that's how most Wi-Fi routers are defaulted. And go ahead and check on passphrase. And I'm going to leave it masked so you can't see our password. If you are having trouble connecting with AES, you can always go back and edit your profile and change it to TKIP. Um, we're going to hit next here. I'll get our password. Click next. We're going to obtain our IP address automatically. Um, if you're more advanced networking, you can uncheck these and manually input your IP and DNS. So I'll click next and then we always recommend CAM, which is the highest performance setting. Click Next. We're optimizing for data. Save. And you'll see your network here in the profiles. 101 is a factory default profile. You'll want to make sure that you highlight it, right-click it, and disable it. That's really important. If you don't disable it, the gun will try to connect to that network whenever it disconnects from yours and that'll cause freezing issues, Wi-Fi staying disconnected for anywhere from 10 seconds to half a minute. Um, once you've done that you can see we've got signal bars now. The last step is click options and drop down your menu all the way at the bottom you've got import export. This is how you permanently save the setup so you don't have to constantly do it over and over. So click export. You can overwrite any conflicting records. Export to file and click OK. And you've permanently saved your Wi-Fi setup and that is how you connect the MC9200 and it's also valid to the MC3200 to your Wi-Fi networks. Thanks guys, have a good day.